Introduction to the Guided Surgical Kit from Toman Medical. This video is part of the e-learning video series. The guided kit covers both element and contact implants. Both open platform compatibility provides flexible options with implant planning software with outsourced or localized stent production. The cassette is clearly organized and has an integrated procedural guide on the insert. Stainless steel construction supports automated washing and the maintenance of instruments. The passive guidance principle, in combination with the unique integrated guidance of vector drill, provide incredible accuracy in implant placement. The design eliminates the need for spoons and tube and tube inserts, which lead to wobble, angulation errors, and worn drills. Easy handling means fewer as well as shorter instruments since the PGP design works in conjunction with VectoDrill. Precise performance is maintained since the cutting flutes on the drill never come into contact with the guide sleeve, another benefit of the passive guidance principle. Press the latches on the sides of the cassette to open. The layout is clean and simple. Let's begin with a high-level overview, and then we can dig into the details of the individual components. We start with the location of the initial drill, which starts every procedure. We then move to the basic preparation with vector drills. Just to the right are fine preparation drills for profiling. In the same area, you will find the screwdrivers for handpiece and the guided insertion adapter. The mono torque ratchet and mono instruments are along the top. Let's take a closer look at the individual instruments and the features and benefits of each. The initial drill is used to start every procedure. It creates the dual point guidance and clears any bone interferences that may hinder the passive guidance system. Basic preparation is performed by vector drills. They create the final width and length of the osteotomy. To ensure dual guidance properties, always start with the initial drill and use every drill in the sequence. Profile drills are required by all contact and element MC implants. Since the depth of placement with Toman implants is flexible, there may be some times when profiling is beneficial due to the deeper placement or dense bone. While profiling is depth controlled by the guide sleeve, every drill in the kit also has conventional laser markings to cover those unexpected clinical surprises. Two screwdrivers for handpiece are directly to the right and the guided insertion adapter is just above. Take note of the laser markings on the instrument. This single instrument is designed to insert both element and contact implants with MC, RC, and LC collar heights. It is the one instrument in the guided kit that does not have a physical stop. This design element provides unique procedural control for the clinician and a universal application for all Toman implants. Along the top, we have the mono torque ratchet and holding key, recognized for its precision and award-winning state-of-the-art design. The one-piece construction dramatically simplifies regular maintenance as there are no parts to disassemble for cleaning, one of the most accurate and dependable torque devices in the market. Next we move to the mono instruments, including insertion adapters and screwdrivers. These items are used for manual placement of the implant and fixation of gingiva formers and abutment screws. There is ample space in the cassette for optional instruments. All on Toman clinicians will appreciate the ability to include a variety of internal adapters and bone profilers. The open platform design allows all users to include their favorite instruments from the conventional kit. Let's take a look at the integrated procedural guide on the insert. The pictogram provides a clear path to preparation sequence. The basic drilling sequence starts with the initial drill and then moves to the vector drills. The drilling sequence is determined by three items, implant type, platform diameter, 
and endosseous length. The final step refers us to the pictogram, which provides a visual reference of the final drill sequence. Note the drill links listed on both sides of the initial drill location. These markings determine the final path. The path can go either left or right and follows one of three lines, dashed, dotted, or solid. We'll take a look at a few drilling sequence examples. We will start with an element RC 4.5 by 9.5. We begin by locating the implant type, element. Then locate the platform diameter, 4.5. The final reference is the length, which is 9.5. These three references give us the final drill location. We then look to the pictogram to identify the correct path for the definitive sequence. Let's look at another drilling example, this time the contact RC 4.5 by 11. We begin by locating the implant type, contact. Then locate the platform diameter, 4.5. The final reference is the length, which is 11. These three references give us the final drill location. And of course, the pictogram then is used to identify the correct path for the definitive sequence. Fine preparation is essentially a profiling step. It is also a straightforward process. Due to its conical cylindrical shape, all contact implants require profiling. In the case of the parallel walled element, only the MC collar is profiled. Let's take a closer look at the pictogram and the examples given earlier. The element RC requires no profiling. On the other hand, the contact RC 4.5 by 11 requires the single profile drill. The Guided Surgical Kit by Toman Medical is a perfect example of simplicity, precision, and technical evolution. It is an open platform system with broad compatibility for planning and stent production. It is easy to use, covers all implants in the system, and is designed for automated cleaning and maintenance. Want to learn more? Our local customer service teams are standing by.